Hello, Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Six of Swords is the overall energy for the week, so that's a nice energy. You have the Lovers and the King of Wands. Okay, so it could be a fire sign you're dealing with, but it looks like things are going to smooth out if they've been kind of rocky. Things could be getting, things could be getting better in your relationship. All right. What is the Lovers? The Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So some of you could be getting some communication this week from this person. Might be kind of random, might be kind of out of the blue, but somebody, if they have been, there's been no communication for a while, I get, you know, kind of like this person is going to finally, finally speak up, say something, break the ice, maybe even say they're sorry. I don't know why I feel that, but... Let me see. What is the King of Wands? What is he thinking? He or she? Devil, Two of Swords. And yeah, I think this person may, this person, there. I feel like there's a lot of love here, but because the Five of Swords is here in the Seven of Cups, I kind of get this feeling of like they're kind of pouting, trying to put you in the cold, but they actually started missing you is kind of what I'm feeling. I feel like the Devil, they could just be this is kind of how they handle situations. They stop texting, they stop calling, but it feels like you know sooner or later they'll, they'll come back around. They know, they love you. It's kind of the energy I'm just kind of getting from the cards from this person. So let me see, why is this happening? What do we need to know? Ace of Wands, okay. What is the Ace of Wands? Five of Cups, that's, that's what I was feeling here when I said there may be like an apology. Temperance in the Page of Swords. I feel like this person can't resist you. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Like King of Cups is still under there. So I feel like this person, whatever they said, whatever they did, I feel like they feel bad. They feel sorry. They love you. They don't want to have to be the first one to make a move, but they definitely will. They've been keeping an eye on you. It's like they can't hold out any longer. It's just kind of what I'm getting. You know what I mean? Like they can only take so much time away from you, time apart, and they're going to give in. So what is the high priestess? What is this person listening to? What is... See, they're spying. A lot of spying here. Let me do one more. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. But I'm going to say, because we got the Ace of Swords under here. we got communication here. we got spying. I got this person, you know, Ace of Wands. Can't resist you for very long. So if you've been... Putting this person out in the cold or on ice, whatever, they, they just can't take it any longer. So you will get communication this week from them. Might be a Scorpio. Let's see. What's going on here? Eight of coins. You may just be busy. Chariot. Okay. I kind of get you've been busy. I kind of get you really, you love this person. You understand them. But at the same time, you're busy working, doing your thing. And you know, you know that they'll come back around when they're ready. Permit. Yep, eight of coin again, two of cups. That's exactly. I get you love them, they love you, whatever's going on. Now, this might be work that's keeping the two of you apart, but I kind of like this. Per I felt kind of the stubborn energy off of them. But maybe it is something else. Maybe they're coming back into town. But I just kind of get you just do your thing until you hear from them. What is chariot? Two of coins, the three of cups, and the ten of swords. I'm laughing because they got the death over there, they got the ten of swords over there. So maybe, well, there may be somebody else that was involved in this reading because we have devil. We do have three of cups here, but we have death and ten of swords. So maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're waiting till they got rid of someone. Because look at, they got juggling. Like, look at how, look at, he's like trying to make a decision here. Now, this could be you on this side instead. And maybe you're thinking, you know, forget this. There's a third person or whatever involved in here. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not, I don't have time for this. Because that's the energy I'm getting off of you. Like, if, if it's going to be like this, who needs this? I don't need this. It's kind of what I'm getting. Like, you almost don't care. But there's an ending here. So that must be with the death and the ten of swords. But it's not your ending. It's ending to another person, another situation. Okay, what is the Ten of Swords? What else, what else do we need to know about this? Hang on, it's a hair. Remove it. All right, Ten of Swords. Okay, this person has a lot of love for you, a lot of feelings for you, so I'm seeing here. So if they were, because I kind of feel like they may have, like maybe you guys, you knew there was another person and you guys just, you know, didn't date. It wasn't that you guys were dating at the same time. It's kind of like you just said, you know what, that's fine. I'm okay on my own. 
But in the meantime, this person really missed you. And I think they may have missed you more than they thought they would. So for some of you, you may have not heard from this person for a while. This may be, you know, weeks, months possibly. Because this tells me that they were thinking about, they were hanging on. It's like they try to work things out or work on something with this other person they were dealing with, but it just, just wasn't working. So I don't know if they had a kid with them or what it was, but they finally were just like, you know what, enough's enough, I have a sword. This isn't going to work for me anymore. I don't want to do this. And so they just ended. The, the other thing is ended. So anything we need to know over here at the Two of Cups. Two of Cups again, the Nine of Coins and the Page of Coins. So this person might be an earth sign, but... I just get you're doing your own thing, Libra. I kind of get, again, whatever your circumstances are, you're just kind of not too worried about them and what they're thinking or doing, and you're just you're just doing you in the meantime. What is the potential outcome, though, for this relationship or person? Two of coins. So maybe now you're juggling. Now you're wondering, is this worth it? Was I juggled? Was this worth it? What should I do? Because you look like you're pretty good on your own. Nine of Coins again, the Chariot, and the Ace of Wands. Well, I think you guys will come back together, obviously, with this. So maybe they want to get together and just talk, go out for a drink. Something simple just to test the waters, to see how you're doing. I think that was Capricorns, wasn't that it? Testing the waters. That might be what's going on here. And you're like, okay, we'll go get a drink. We'll talk a little bit. Sparks are going to come back to this relationship. You're going to both start feeling the same way with Ace of Wands showing up twice. So let me see what else should I pull from what else do you need to know about this situation why is the six of swords the overall energy why is the six of swords the overall energy from for Libra death star the two of swords and the seven of swords okay they may have um, I was gonna say hope and fear at the same time hope that you'll take them back hope that you'll still want to talk, fear that you won't. What is the Seven of Swords? Anything? Nine of Coins. They also might be a little intimidated by you, Libra. They also could see you as kind of out of, the, out of their league a little bit, the Nine of Coins. There could be some arguing between the two of you, obviously because of the situation, what they did. Because this is the energy that you're coming with, right? You're a great catch. You know your worth. You're not going to put up with this. So, so this could be you, this Five of Swords also. This could be them coming in. And this is you, the Five of Swords. If you're not coming correct, don't come at all. You know what I mean? Just like don't even. So what else would the outcome of the Ace of Wands? Seven of Wands and Nine of Swords and High Priestess. So definitely take this slowly. Uh, there may be a lot of physical attraction between the two of you. You may want to take things quickly, but definitely because the Seven of Swords is here, I can't ignore that. With the Five of Wands, like that's the, kind of like around you, surrounding you. That's a little bit of drama. With the listening to your intuition, definitely you need to... I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but I do kind of feel like they may want to hide some details. What are you listening to your intuition about? Now, they may be nervous also, Nine of Swords. That might be them nervous, but what is the High Priestess? Three of Wands, the Four of Wands in the beginning, Hierophant, the Four of Swords. Share it. So this person has relationship on their mind. What is the Three of Coins, though? What is the Three of Coins working together? Justice. No, this person wants stability. They want a st stable relationship, but I think you want them to put in the effort. Like you want, you want to be the one to kind of kick back this time. What I'm getting, and they need to prove themselves with the three of coins. They, you need to see them either in a different way. You need to see them act in a different way with the hanged man. Put in effort, like just kind of like do the opposite of whatever they did in the past. Is what I'm seeing here to make things right with justice. I feel like you put in the effort before. You don't want to put it in now. It's like you don't. You just want to be this nine of coins here. You don't want to have to be the one doing all the work because I think you did before in some way, at least, you, or you feel like you did, and 
you're not down for that. This person has to prove their worth is what I'm getting here. Because they want a relationship with you, no doubt. This is what they want. And they're going to have to make it up to you is what I'm getting definitely with these cards. For whatever they did in the past, whatever happened, they're going to have to make it up to you and prove prove to you that they're worthy or they've changed or that you know heart to heart conversations yeah i get a lot of talking this is a past life relationship you deserve love you are lovable and getting to know each other there is a lot of chemistry here so yeah i get like for a lot of you this could work just take take the time Maybe don't rush into anything too fast. Just talk. Talk it out. So what does this person think about you? Let's see how they feel about you. Though. What are they thinking and feeling about you, Libra? What do they think and feel about you? How do they view you? They view you as the sun. Oh, wow. You're in temperance in reverse. The seven of swords. Like you'll get rid of them in a heartbeat is what I'm getting there. They're worried about this. Okay, I am getting this sense again, like you maybe a little, they feel like maybe you're out of their league. The sun, I always say, is a good card because if someone views you like this, that means they see you as being happy, outgoing, fun, there's potential, there's new beginnings here. You're right here, so obviously they're already thinking about you, but yet you're very demanding. You don't put up with anything anymore. Temperance came out in reverse. You don't want to put up with shit. Uh, you're going to keep your cards close to the vest. And they know that, so they got to be very careful. They may even need to tiptoe around. They're going to try to figure out what it is they need to say or do. They're nervous, definitely nervous about you. Again, they may see you as being very mysterious. You have no problem being, you know, out in the cold without them or putting them out in the cold. Also, as I'm seeing here. And again, this is another card of kind of like being annoyed, not putting up with a lot, the way his face is looking. Like, are you kidding me? So... I think they feel like you may have the upper hand right now in this situation, so they're going to be careful. Uh, again, I can't kind of like if they don't say or do the right thing, it's over, it's done, just as fast as it started. What is the Seven of Swords? They may see you being, being somewhat sneaky or manipulative or crafty with the Seven of Swords. Also, they may also see you as not being totally, completely truthful with the Seven of Swords being there. They may see you as missing them with this showing up like that. If, you, if they put you through a lot of like misery, sadness, hurt, they know that. And that also worries them because they know they've already kind of, you know, dug a, a shallow grave already for themselves. Like this might go good or this might go really bad. What is the seven of swords really quick? The king of wands, the strength card, the four of coins. Okay, but this person is really hanging on though. There's a lot of passion here. I don't think they want to show their hand, though. So Seven of Swords is also how they're feeling. I think neither of you want to show your hand. I think you both want to kind of keep your cards close to the vest. So the other person... Look, it's under here, too. So you guys are mirroring each other. So they don't want to be completely honest right away. You don't want to be completely honest. The first person to bear their truth or open their heart or say, say what they're truly feel, feeling loses. So again, this person wants to kind of keep the upper hand, and you might also, though. Uh, you know what, this, was this Capricorn? This was in Capricorn's extended. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn, because in the extended, it showed two paths to take. One, you could go toward this person quickly and, and you know, jump back in the relationship and just go for it. And this person's going to shut down. They're going to be cold. They're going to. They're not going to put effort in anymore. It's like it was like a game. And I said, you know, this looks kind of like a game. The other side was where you would have to be aloof. You'd have to take it slow. You'd have to leave them in the cold for a little while, not talk to them, that type of thing. I know it's like all games. Like who wants to do this? But it came out in the reading, so that's the truth. That's just what showed up. So this is kind of the same energy. You may miss this person, but they don't. You don't want to tell them, and they don't really want to tell you either. Again, is kind of what I'm seeing. You know, we have some of the similar energy, I think, but um, yeah, this is player crumbing, giving crumbs. Yeah, you can't, you can't put up with this kind of behavior. This is somebody who really doesn't care. So they know you won't put up with this, this type of behavior. You'll boot them, five of coins. 
but they may want more from you also though this could be they may feel like you put them out in the cold you're not giving enough you're not showing enough affection you're not sharing enough with them you're coming across too cold uh this could be how they they're viewing you not that it's true one more for the moon four of cups the ace of swords and the seven of coins seven of wands there's something like maybe in the past that's judgment underneath the deck it looked like the moon but um about maybe you didn't want their cup in the past maybe you did push them away there's something confused this person is confused about something also something that you did in the past you pushed them away you didn't explain yourself they may again you have two cards though of talking heart to heart conversations and another one here getting to know each other i think there's a lot you guys have to discuss and talk about and get out in the open They see you being kind of guarded and emotional also with the moon coming up. Like I said, mysterious. They're not really sure which way you're going to go and how they should handle the situation or you. So again, they're going to tread lightly, very carefully around you. So it might take a while to get to the heart of the matter and what you guys really need to talk about is what I'm seeing here. But if you're willing to give it a try and a go, this person is to, and I think this person has very deep feelings for you that they may not really show or share, but they're definitely there. If you can get past all the, you know, exterior stuff that's going on here, because there's obviously for these to both come out, there's a deep soulmate bond here. So, so expect some communication coming in this week from this person, Libra. They definitely could be an earth or a fire sign, but I'm going to leave it here. You guys have a really good week and I'll talk to you soon.